Our eyes and the visual system of our brain are amazing. We are able to see the world around us with an incredible resolution and an amazing frame rate. But besides that, our visual system is also able to adapt to the current surroundings. For example, when you are outside for a while in a sunny day and you come home, everything in the room seems to be a little dark. On the other hand, if you wake up in the morning, you may need a few minutes to get used to the light. This shows that our vision adapts and habituates to a particular situation. This is not only true for light and dark, but also for colors. When being exposed to a particular color pattern for a while, cells in our eyes and visual cortex of the brain habituate to those colors, making it more likely to see the opposite colors afterwards. We can demonstrate this with the so-called afterimage illusion. This illusion works best if near you there is a blank white wall. Now on screen you will see an eerie image. I want you to focus on the red dot in the middle of the image for about 30 seconds. Try your best to keep focus on only the red dot. Let's go! Try to keep focus on the dot. Keep going. You have about 15 seconds to go. Keep your focus for a little longer. When the time is over, I want you to look at the blank wall or the blank screen in front of you and blink your eyes quickly. 3, 2, 1. Now look at the white background and quickly blink with your eyes. If you kept your focus well, you should now see an after image of the face, but this time with the right colors. Even if you stop blinking for a few seconds and try it again, the after image may still be there. This visual illusion can be explained by the opponent process theory. This theory suggests that ganglion cells in the eyes and color processing neurons in the visual cortex share an inhibitory connection to cells that encode the opposite color. For example, if you look at the color red, neurons that process the color red will be excited and start firing. But not only that, they will also send an inhibitory signal to neurons that process green so these neurons will become suppressed. After staring at the red color for a while, both excitatory and inhibitory signals become weaker since the brain gets used to the color. If we then change background, the reduced suppression of green neurons now causes those to be dominantly active. And voila, you will see an afterimage. Having such an excitatory inhibitory relationship in neurons that encode opposing colors makes it easier to distinguish between different colors and borders. It should however be noted that this theory is not complete, since research has shown that excitatory inhibitory relationships in the visual cortex also exist between neurons processing complementary colors, such as green and magenta. Nevertheless, such give and take connections do not only exist in the visual cortex, but can be found throughout the brain. As such, the opponent process theory has been extended to other functions. Most well known is Richard Solomon's opponent process theory of emotion and motivation. Anyway, that's it. We hope you liked this explanation of visual afterimages and the opponent process theory. If you did, consider giving this video a like. And as always, we hope to see you the next time.